Okay, the goal of this video is to show you how to debug Ajax uh, with a simple HTML file, a very messy JavaScript file that we've inherited from somebody, and a GeoJSON layer that we're trying to load into our web page in a very ugly sense. We're just trying to literally load this te data as text, or string if you will, into our web page. So here I have brackets, I have the three files open that we're going to need to play with, uh, debug demo, debug demo, and cities geo.json. Over here I have the debug demo.html site open, although it's pretty small right now because there's nothing there, other than it says this is the start of my div, and uh, you know I'm, I'm inspecting elements. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do, and this is really important if you uh, want to play with JavaScript, is we need to load uh, certain scripts into our web page. And it's really crucial that you load these also in the right order. So if, for example, you were to load the, uh, where am I going? I'm gonna go down to JavaScript here. If I were to load the debug demo JavaScript before I load the jQuery JavaScript, we're going to have some problems. Why? Because the debug um, demo script is in written in jQuery and so if we load these um, in the wrong order it will not be able to read what's in the debug demo JavaScript because it uh, because it uses jQuery because it hasn't yet loaded jQuery so I always load I recommend loading jQuery as one of the first scripts it depends on how many different things you're using but I always recommend loading it first uh, don't forget the browsers read top to bottom so the browser will now load jQuery and then it will load debug demo and if we write debug demo in jQuery it'll be able to read it. So it's easy enough to add scripts. You just write script, give it a source, and close it out. Um, it's nice to have a JavaScript folder as you can see I, I do here so all my scripts are in a folder and um, let's move on. We should be set here. We have a div with an ID called my div and now let's go to the messy JavaScript or jQuery code, code that somebody gave us. Okay. So we're here, and uh, what a frickin' mess. Okay, um, we've got a callback, it looks like, up here with a response and some weird uh, appendages. I just like saying that. Um, and a function, all right, so an Ajax function here, all right. And look at, they're trying to like add this data 15 times. What's going on here? All right, the first thing we can do with debugging is we want to look at the order of our script. And as we should know by now, um, callbacks shouldn't come before the actual function that calls for the callback. So it looks like here it's calling for a callback, but the callback's up here. So first things first, let's just cut this sucker out and paste it down here. All right. Um, not there, actually. See? Getting messy already. Paste it here. It also looks like we have the same thing being repeated a bunch, and I don't really know how useful this is. So I get the gist that we want to add something to my div, and we basically want it to be some data that we loaded. I think we're probably better off just keeping one of these and deleting all the others, because quite frankly, this is a mess. All right, let's hit save and see what happens here. If we hit save over here, refresh, all right, we have some JavaScript errors. Reference error, my data is not defined. Over here, this is really useful because you can see that it's on line 22 in this JavaScript file. Um, something's not defined, my data. All right, well, they do have a variable my data up here, but apparently it's just not going through. Um, so let's let's start at the top and our way, work our way to the bottom. Um, you can use console logs, I, I recommend you do. But, so let's actually do that right now. Debug Ajax is running. Hit save. All right, I don't see anything showing up. The same error here in line 22. All right, what happens if we hash out that line and hit save? All right, we're not getting any errors, but we're also, this isn't even running. So that means that this function isn't, we're not even getting to this console log. This isn't running. We've written a function here. There aren't any errors that it's reading because it's not running, so there might be errors in this. Um, but nowhere do we call it. Nowhere do we say run this function. All right, so let's look at this. We've got two functions. 
function debug ajax and function debug callback. This has nothing in it. And uh, this line of code at the end that's causing problems is um, no more. All right. So let's look in here and see if this function is working well. So we have jQuery Ajax. This is fine. Um, I prefer the get JSON method, but this is a more thorough method, so we'll, we'll go with this for now. All right. Uh, the first thing should be a string where we're requesting data from somewhere. All right, so we've got data folder, megacities.geojson. I don't seem to have a file called that, so that's going to be a problem. I have megacities KML CSV. So, First things first, one thing to always check for is make sure that your file names are correct. This wouldn't load anything because it doesn't exist. All right, we've got that taken care of. Data type, JSON, success, function, response, debug, what is this garbage? All we really need here, honestly, is we need to tell it what function to run when, it, um, when it's successful. And uh, quite frankly, we, we, we could run a, we could insert a function here and you know transfer the response data or whatnot, but there's no real need to do that. So instead, what we we're going to do is we want this when this AJAX runs, when it finds this data, we want it to run the callback uh, function. And here we can call it callback. We call it debug callback. So let's just do that. Debug callback. All right. So got this. No errors so far. That's good. Now, um, let's go down here. We've got um, the function debug callback, but nothing's happening in here. Remember that the callback is where you take the response and do something with it. So you, you do something, you literally, now you want to take the, the information from your AJAX function, you, you call it up, and you want to do something with it. And so to me, it seems like this is where we're going to use append data, etc. So let's cut this and paste it in our callback. We'll get rid of those little hashtags there. All right, so let's take a look at this. I already see some problems. jQuery is really simple, and um, but it's also easy to make a simple error here. And the error in this case is my div. What does that mean? We do have something called my div in our HTML document. But let's take a look at our HTML document really quickly. Div ID equals my div. Okay, so we have an ID called my div. So an ID symbol is the pound sign. I'm old school. I know it's it's a hashtag now. Um, all right, so hashtag my div. But notice how it all turned red. Why is that? Because you need to use it. Uh, mark. You need to label DOM elements as strings essentially. So so if we make this a string. We're saying jQuery target my div, um, the, the object with an ID my div, which is right here. Append. Append means add to the end. All right, we're getting somewhere now. GeoJSON data. This is string, so basically a string with this text plus our GeoJSON data stringified, made into text. All right, sounds good. Let's hit save. Let's go over here. We're not getting any errors, but we're also not getting our data. So don't forget, there are three steps to AJAX. First, you retrieve the data, or you try to. Second, when it's successful, you do a callback. You do something with that data. And third, you've got to run the original function that retrieves the data. At this point, we have two functions, but we don't call either of them. So This is how you do it. When the document's loaded and it's ready, run debug AJAX, run the retrieve function. And then that, if it's successful, should run debug callback. And that should append data. Let's see what happens. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my gosh. My data is not defined. Let's look down here. Line 15. This blasted my data. That was causing issues before. Um, let's see. Something that's wrong with jQuery. Okay, so when one thing goes wrong, a whole chain of events goes wrong. And in this case, we've got a lot of issues. All right, not a big deal. So let's do this. My data is not defined. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that makes sense. It's not defined anywhere. We don't have the variable defined as my data. We don't have um, anything really going on here. So let's try to create a variable called my data and see what happens.
voila. So we created a variable called my data, and it equals the response that's in here. Now my data is defined. Notice all these jQuery errors disappeared as well because um, because uh, errors spawn from errors and it's just not worth getting into. I have no idea what those jQuery errors are. They were actually in the jQuery file. It was because our code stunk so badly. <laughs> so um, also notice that now we're getting this console log that uh, debug Ajax is running. So that that works. So it's running, um, and that's that's because we're finally calling it. Now, I want to show you one other thing, though. We don't have to create a variable here. We could um, simply do this. We could delete this and watch it. won't work anymore. Boom, lots of errors, but debug Ajax is running. Same errors we had before. If we don't create a variable, though, we need to, we need to tell it what to put in here. And in that case, if we don't create a variable for the response, you can type response right here. Um, you really want to create a variable if you wanted to pass it as a parameter to another function to be used elsewhere. 